In the last video I showed you a very simple way to clean your hard drive using Windows and the command prompt. It does one write over the entire drive of just zeros. There are other methods. Thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. You can get 25% off Windows and Office with coupon code TS25. So they've got Windows 10 Pro, they've got Home, you've got Windows 11, Office 2021, 2019, and this is the one I use, 2016, because it still works very well. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, then you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. You know, I never liked how Microsoft has different prices for different people. If you're a home user, you're gonna pay 10 times more than an OEM builder or a corporation or something like that. And that's why I like heading to places like whokeys.com to get the OEM keys so I can pay a price that makes sense. So thanks to them for sponsoring and now to our regularly scheduled program. Derek's boot nuke is something that you can actually write to a USB and then you boot from the USB. That way you can overwrite your OS drive without any issues. You can overwrite any drive on the computer. Now, having said that, you want to be very careful to make sure that you're overwriting the correct drive. So before you do this, you need to take account of all of your drive spaces and all of your drive size uh, sizes. So what I like to do is just open up my computer and then just look at all the drive sizes. I'm looking on this computer. I'm not going to use this computer to do my overwrite. But, you know, just look at all your drive sizes and stuff like that. And if you want to go a little bit farther, right click on this PC and click on manage. Take a screenshot of it. Take a picture of it with your phone. But you can look at all your disks here and be like, OK, here's all my different disks. So that way you can just know exactly what they are when you're looking at them uh, after you've booted from the drive. Now. This is primarily for old spinning hard drives. Big, ugly, well, they're on the shelf. Big old, ugly spinning hard drives. If you're doing a, an SSD or an M.2, the first thing that you should do is go to your manufacturer's website and have a look there because there may be some programs that will work. For instance, with Seagate, we've got C Tools and we also have C Tools Bootable. And this is the program that you're going to want to use to securely erase your drive, but it'll also allow you to do all kinds of other things with your drive and give you diagnostics, uh, upgrade your firmware and that kind of stuff. And the same thing is true for like Samsung. Samsung uses the SSD magician software. So if you have a drive and it's from OCZ or some other company like that, Toshiba, whatever, go to their website. I know it's, I, I can't go through everything in this video, and just see what they have available. Western Digital has the um, WD security for Windows. That's the one you need. So you just have to go and find the program uh, and then you can use that. But for us, we're gonna use Derek's boot and nuke. And this will generally work on an SSD, uh, usually. I'm saying 95% chance it'll work just fine on an SSD. But the thing about using an SSD with this program, it's going to really degrade the life of the drive because it does a full on write. And SSDs are not uh, designed to do as much writing as like a regular hard drive. Uh, the newer ones are a little better, but it's this is not recommended for an SSD, especially if you're doing multiple passes, unless you're going to throw it away. If you're going to throw it away, just write the hell out of it, then drill it with a drill and then hit it with a hammer. I mean, that's what I would do. I would I would unscrew it, take take it out of the case and just beat it with a hammer because it's really easy to just destroy that solid state memory. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop in and, and do this. Now, what we're gonna need to do is grab a copy of Derek's boot and nuke from SourceForge right here. Now, this is an ISO. We're not gonna burn this onto a disc or anything. I mean, you could burn this onto a CD. That's the idea is if you wanted to burn it onto a CD, then put it into an older computer, you could do that just fine. But we can use Rufus, which is a program that will take an ISO and write it onto a USB stick so that you can boot from it. So let's go ahead and grab a copy of Rufus. There we go, Rufus 3.20 at the time of writing. I'm actually gonna grab the portable version. If you want to install it on your computer, you can, but I'm just gonna grab the portable version. So I can just click it up here in the top and it will open up. Now I'm just gonna select that file by clicking on select right here. And uh, then I'm gonna click on DBAN, which is the one I just downloaded. It's right here in my downloads. It'll go wherever you downloaded it, you know, just find it. I'm gonna put this USB in. And it's it immediately discovered it. That's my USB stick. Make sure that your USB stick is selected. If you only have one inserted, 
that it's probably going to be the right one. That's usually what I recommend, just to make sure you only have one USB stick inserted, because Rufus will only show USB sticks. It won't show regular hard drives, so there's nothing to worry about. Click on Start. It will destroy all of the data on the drive. What's on that drive? Better check and see what's on that drive. Okay, just a bunch of drivers. Don't need any of that stuff. So just make sure you don't need anything on there. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Mm. Now we go get coffee, even though it's 11.54 in the p.m. Okay, that was really fast. I'm going to take this out and put it into my laptop just so we can uh, show you how it works. And I'll run through the different algorithms because this will do like four or five different algorithms and I'll tell you which one's the best. All right, so you got to put your um, USB stick in and then you got to make sure you can boot from your USB stick. And in order to do that on the Lenovo, you press F12. On, on your system, it may be F1 or F2 or you may have to go into the UEFI or the BIOS and say, please boot from the USB. So, okay, I'm going to reboot my computer and yep, restart anyway. I'm going to start pressing F12 right now and you can press whatever button it is that you need to select your boot device. Hey, look at that. All right, so this is Derek's boot and new. We're just gonna press enter to get right into it. All right, just, this might take a few minutes while it looks for all your stuff. Just give it a minute. Actually, I kind of like this feel with the webcam. It's, it, it feels right. I feel like we're back in the day when this kind of stuff was normal. Here are my disks. That's my main hard drive. And this is the drive that I want to erase. It's the one that I've already erased, but it's the one that I'm going to sell. This is all just for demonstration purposes. So I want to select this drive. Just press the space bar to select the drive. And it says wipe. Now we need to pick our method, so press M. And here's all the different methods. Its default is DOD short, and that one's just fine. But quick erase is kind of like we did in the last video. It rewrites the entire thing. It's basically like going into the command prompt, uh, going into disk part, and then typing clean all. It rewrites the entire disk with nothing but zeros. Then, this is the one I'm going to recommend that you do if you want like complete security, the DOD. 5220.22-M. I'm not sure I forget what that stands for, but this one does uh, one pass. It's gonna take three times or four times as long as the quick erase because it does one pass of zeros, one pass of ones, and then one pass of just random stuff. And if you pick this version, it will do all of that twice. The short version just does the three passes, but this version does it all twice plus a finalization pass. So it will take about seven times as long as just a quick overwrite. And then the other one that I would recommend is the PRNG stream. Now this one is kind of like a quick erase. So if you're pressed for time and you, it's not extremely uh, you know, sensitive data, do this one. It's better than the quick erase because it doesn't just do all zeros. It does random information. So that should be much harder to recover any of the information. Um, now really quick erase is probably going to do it for 99.9% .9 of the people. But this one is the one that you should be using if you're you know, going all out. You just push on the space bar to select that one. And then we can just start wiping right here. F10 is going to start the procedure. I've already done this, so I don't need to. But that's pretty much all there is to it. And you can go back through all of your disks. You can put other disks in your computer, obviously, uh, and reuse this program to wipe them to keep them secure and clean. But really, if you want to go even crazier, the thing that you should be doing is physically destroying your drive. It's, if it's that sensitive, you need to physically destroy it. How do you do that? Well, put on some goggles, put on some eyewear. I'm not gonna be responsible for any injuries that you incur while you know destroying your drive. Don't come after me and be like, yeah, a guy on the internet said to destroy the drive and I hit it with a hammer and it ricocheted into my eyes and now I'm uh, dying or whatever. No, put on some you know protective eyewear, put on a football uniform whatever they wear the whole thing pads in the ass and everything just in case you never know when a hard drive might creep up on you for what you did to his brother and then just hit it with a hammer the best thing to do is probably a drill just drill into those things whatever just ruin those drives know that if someone's really serious they can still try to get the platter and go one bit at a time and try to get the data off of there anyway that's the end of the video pretty much if you watched the last video about cleaning and you did that, you're good to go in my opinion. I, I think this is kind of just overkill, but I know a lot of you out there are overkill kind of people. My kind of people. So I appreciate your over the top overkillness and that's what we're here for. So let me know if you're gonna be using Derek's boot and nuke. It's been around for a long time. I don't think it's been updated since 2015, but it doesn't need to be. It does what it does. All right, let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to head over to epicpants.com. The keyboard's on sale right now for half price with the coupon code 
happy keyboard. And you can spill things on this keyboard. Like that's, let me just, uh, see this right here? Oh, look at that. It's really, I've got the thing turned down, but function tab. Watch me change the colors. Isn't it beautiful? There's a fire dark in here. All right, that's enough of this. Goodbye.